Okay, so using the T20. You need a T20, T6. Breaking loose the four corner. Mm -hmm. And that cupped it. When you do this, you want to do it with the power turned off, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, when you're talking, you want to make sure you cover it. It's easy to, you know, contaminate it. Uh, I have this guy here. Okay, I want to have uh, my filter handy that I want to replace. One, two, three, four screws. You could either put your nails around that or inside. But okay. I don't like the inside because if you go too far, you may be touch, touching the glass sure. and then you have to clean it later. But if if it's too flush, per se, if it's too flush there, you, your nail cannot reach in there, you could always just go one corner and then go home. Oh, okay, nice. Okay, figure out that one. I have, I happen to have a clean air with a filter, all that, so I can use this, no problem. Anti-static, which is, helps to keep the small particles coming. And I, when I use this, I always make sure that, you know, there's not debris in there. Don't go directly, I was going an angle, it seems to work better. And also hold the tip, if you have a, a airbrush like this, because it, it has a kick. Okay. okay. And it could crash. See the writing? Always towards down. If you happen to lose one of these screws, it's not the end of the world. They're uh, torque, probably equivalent of two millimeter. How much torque on there? Finger snug. Okay. Remember, you lose one, don't worry about it. This guy holds it in place. Okay. Those are important. This you don't want to lose. But the ones on the back, they're tiny. Sometimes they fall. Even if you have one on each corner, it will be fine. Okay. Doesn't uh, determine the flange or anything. So. And this guy keeps it in place so as long as this is solid you'll be fine. How much torque on this? About a quarter of snack, see that? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It goes to I'll let you feel it. 
it goes to where okay I feel there it's, it feels like it, it's starting to light and then just go like boom just like an eighth of a tree yeah let's go there and you see I don't yeah see it's, it's full it's like inch pounds something like that yeah you don't use an inch pound torque wrench not here, but I know they, they're they around. Oh, I know. I have one. I use it for my guns. I know <laughs> the mechanics sometimes use it then, you know, when they're working on the head. All right, so this is the um, mechanical part of it. We're done with that. What I would recommend always, you know, when you put that guy on, relabel the tag, because, like, this guy is the low light. Now it's not anymore. So you want right. to do that for me? That's, that's yours. That's You're going to end up taking that with you. Uh, and there, so is, there is tape there, you're more than welcome, and a sharpie. So, that guy so now we're going to do the electronic part of it, right? right. <clears throat> You read, you have a balance plate I can borrow for a minute? This is one key, I was working on getting this. A better place. Thank you. Yeah, did the body go downstairs already? Uh, no, we're cool. Uh, And you have your SSD card with you? The card, SSD? Uh, no, they kept it, but I can Can I borrow one? I want 28 just so I can do the uh, calibration and things like that. Oh, you know what? I have one. Thank you, boss. Hopefully in the next frameworks, the camera will be smart enough to tell what oil PF is in there. Uh, on the weapons, such thing this one is not so you have to go in the menu settings maintenance OLPF well we put the low light right so we select yeah. low light okay boom close now we still have to color uh, do a calibration for the unit uh, it's best to do when it reaches up to temperature. You want to have this to the uh, say the cow. It should be green both of them, and then you go ahead and do the calibration. What I do normally, I keep it here a little bit, you know, keep it warming up. If like the one I just sent downstairs already done and calibrated, but let's say you were supposed to do the calibration. Uh, what you do? Uh, you go settings, maintenance, calibration, sensor. Sorry, you're supposed to have an SSD card in there before. Okay, okay let me close that. You wanna, you need, since you have an SSD card, you have, you wanna have it freshly formatted. Format. Bam. Format. Okay, after formatting the card, then you go. Right. Let's pretend we were sensor calibration, right? So mm -hmm. we were good. We're just gonna go setting, maintenance, calibrate, sensor. Um, this is the one that we did a few days ago, whenever we give it to you, you know, when we service it. So I'm gonna delete that one and make a fresh one, right? So I'm gonna say, okay, I want I want a fresh, sorry. Uh, I wanna delete that one, yes, boom. So I'm gonna make a fresh calibration. Create. Uh, There's the uh, shutter angle there is, so it's factory preset. It's all good. Yeah, I wanted to be that. And but if I wanted to change the shutter or something, I will do those changes before I do my calibration. But let's say we're gonna run with that. Start capture. Um. Okay. And then there you go. It takes about 10 to 15 minutes to do the calibration. 10 to 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, um, it's recommended to do this 
uh, at least once a day in the morning is not such a bad idea if you don't do it it's not the end of the world but it's recommended it's just this camera don't do black balance it's not like you can go and they do they refresh themselves but um, when you do calibrations you ensure that your uh, blacks are sitting at zero pedestal mm -hmm. and then you're gonna have you know full range and full uh, uh, I would say rendering of your blacks and you know, that's the main purpose. And then does it do like in three chip cameras where it'll uh, reset lit pixels? This guy does it internally so I would say yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, but during, during the calibration process? Correct. Okay. Yeah. So uh, they call it a pixel defect. Yes. Uh, now through the day it might it might prompt you you know a calibration different color that means the, the camera could be asking you hey you know temperatures change yeah temperatures so, calibrate mm -hmm. me or you change shutter angles and this and that once again it's not the end of the world if you don't do it but it's it's advisable to do it you know that way you ensure once again that your black are sitting at the pedestal as they shoot okay so keep your eyes open for that like right now if you reach up to the correct temperature so i think we're gonna be okay because it was just capturing it was preparing so it wasn't really applying now it's applying initial calibration plus one capturing still so i think we're gonna be fine with this now we have the green lights so which means we're good in the calibration temperature all right so we're okay so we don't have to run anything nah you'll be fine okay uh, for that, you gotta make sure you use the port cap. Mm -hmm. uh, if you're, I will highly recommend use the port, the, the camera port cap, right? Uh, the red one, if ideally. Why? Because it was made that way, so you will block any light going into. Correct? If you, we use the lens, if we, you close the iris, light still is going through. If you use the lens cap, those were meant to pro, to cover light coming from. So I will highly recommend to use your lens port cap of the red one, which is what designed to cover all light. Okay. Great. There you go, boss. Thank you very much. My pleasure. <laughs>